Welcome everybody, my name is Steve from Next Technologies and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and operate BitVision. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to your App Store or Play Store depending if you have an Android or an Apple or whatever store you use on your mobile device and you're going to search for BitVision. And as you can see, mine's right here at the top with the icon on the left, so I'm going to click BitVision. So here we are, BitVision by Hero Speed Technology. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Okay, once you have successfully installed BitVision, you're going to go ahead and locate it on your phone. Mine's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it to open the app. And here we go. Agree to the service terms of agreement. Allow BitVision to access your, your photos, media, and files on your device. Yes, we want to allow this because we want to um, have BitVision be able to save, um, you know, MP4 files when we back up video, um, take photos, and it can store it in our uh, uh, photo folder on our phone. Um, we will need this to uh, pull footage and uh, take photos uh, later on. So we're going to go ahead and allow that. Allow BitVision to make and manage phone calls. Now, I'm going to allow this for this demo, and this is basically if you have um, a there. There's an intercom option where you can actually click it, and you can speak through it, and it will go through your NVR, and it sort of acts like a paging system. Um, so, depending if you're going to use this option uh, for this demo, I'm going to allow this. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to want to register an account. So at the top left, you're going to see the person like looking icon. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click that. And you're going to see at the top left, it says, please log in first. So you want to click the person looking like icon again. And here we are at the main page. And what we want to do is below the button that says log in, you'll see register. We're going to go ahead and select register. Um, it's going to ask you to agree to the service terms, agree, um, allow BitVision to use uh, your location uh, for your country. If you don't want to, you can select it manually. For this video, I will click allow, and you can see Canada at the top, so I'm going to select that, and I'm going to click next at the bottom. Okay, here we are um, at the registration screen, so it says enter email at the top. Uh, you're going to need to use a valid email. The reason why is it's going to send you a code um, and that code is going to be used to create the registration so it knows that you are a person, not a robot, and you're not spamming the app. So let's go ahead and fill this out. And you're going to want to create a unique password um, and something easily to remember. And you can view it by clicking the eye. You're going to have to enter your password again. And down here where it says enter CAPTCHA, um, you're going to click send email code. And it's going to send a code to your email that you're going to have to retrieve. And don't worry about the countdown on the right there. That's just an estimated time of when the email will be received. Now, if you do not receive the email right away, make sure to refresh it. Um, sometimes it can take up to two minutes. Um, and also check your junk folder just in case for some reason if it went into there. Mine is already popped up in my email, so I'm going to put in my code right here. And I'm going to hit register. Registered successful. Now, once you're at the login screen, again, enter your email. and enter your password. 
and hit login. I like to keep remember password checked because then I don't have to enter it every time. Okay, once you have successfully logged in to your Bitvision account, what we're going to do is just click over on the right here and we're going to start adding our NVR or our devices that we have. So at the top right, you will see two camera-like looking icons. We are going to click on that. Um, and then at the bottom left here, you're going to see um, a plus looking icon. We're going to click there. Um, once you get to here, what we're going to do is a LAN search. And you will go to serial number add. Now, when we do this, um, you can input your serial number manually or there's a, uh, there's a sticker on the box that has both a QR code and your serial number and there's also a sticker at the bottom of the NVR with a QR code and a serial number. Um, so for this demo, instead of doing it manually, I'm just going to scan it. So it's going to ask me to allow to take pictures, uh, record video, I'm going to go allow. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to scan my QR code. There it is, done. Um, now you need to enter the um, username and password that's um, uh, configured for your NVR. Uh, by default, the username is admin and the password is 12345. However, when you initially set up the NVR, it makes you change this right away because the password is too weak. Um, so if you installed it yourself um, and went through the process at the beginning, you will have to put in the new uh, password. If somebody installed it for you, you have to contact your installer um, to receive this um, admin password. Um, so we're going to go ahead and enter that. And now where it says CAPTCHA, this is also located on the sticker on the box and the sticker at the bottom of the NVR um, where it says CAPTCHA. And you're going to have to enter that as well. And we're going to go ahead and submit. Okay, there we go. So for device name, most people just call it home. You can really name it anything you want. If it's a shop, name it shop. Um, anything will work. Let's confirm that. And then where it says, please choose group. Uh, click there and we're going to add to my devices. There's also the share devices if you want to share um, your cameras with somebody. We'll get into that later for now. My devices. And there we are. So at the top right we're going to click finish. And as you can see device home shows up here. Um, at the right of home you're going to see these three dots. You can click there and that will show you information about your NVR, including your serial number, uh, status is on, uh, your device name, if you want to rename it, you can click there. Your group, um, you can click on that too and put into a different group or create another group. Um, channel settings, um, we'll get into that later too. That's an important uh, part of this tutorial. Uh, available capacity is your hard drive, so I have a two terabyte hard drive in this unit. Um, and the version factory reset to default it. Um, you can restart your advice, uh, sorry, your device and um, push image is how many images um, interval per minutes it can send out. Okay, so top left, um, click on the back arrow. Uh, click on the top left back arrow again. And here is our main screen. So we're going to go ahead and start um, adding cameras into Live View. Okay, so now to add uh, cameras into um, Live View, uh, what we're going to do is click on the top left camera here, um, and you're going to see My Devices. So we'll click on that. Um, you're going to click on the unit that you have. There's two here. You most likely will only have one. Um, just your house. This, however, has two. Um, so here's all my cameras right here. This is a 16 channel unit. However, it only has nine cameras on it. I can select the check mark at the top to add in all the cameras, or you can uncheck the check mark beside shop at the top and just select which cameras you want to uh, put in. Um, I know this unit has 
9. So I'm going to select 9 and go confirm. Um, and it'll start auto-populating this. Um, we can also change the view here at the bottom. So this is your split screen view. I got 9 view here. There's 16 way view. If you have 16 cameras, let's go back to 9. Okay, let's go back to 4. If you have 4, or if you just have 1, go to 1. So I'm going to go to 9. Okay, here's my 9 cameras. Um, now I'm going to turn my phone sideways to go into full screen view. And what you can actually do is just double click on any camera and it will enlarge it into full screen. And you can also double click it again to go back in a nine uh, screen mode. Um, you're going to see this menu at the bottom and I'll bring you through that right now. So let's uh, start playing with a single camera. So I'm going to enlarge this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the left icon and that's the record icon. You can see it's lit up now. So that's actually now creating an MP4 file that is saving uh, to my phone. And then we can go back and play that later. So this is how you record in live view. If this menu disappears on you, just click anywhere on the screen and it'll pop back up. Okay, so I'm finished recording. I'm going to click that same icon again. And as you can see, it, it, it deselects it. And now my video is saved. So to the right of that, um, you're going to see the photo icon. So I'm going to click that. That's going to take a photo and store it on our phone for us. Um, next up is this PTZ icon. If you have motorized cameras, this one is. You may not have any. So this is basically just to move the camera around. So I'm just playing with it now. Um, and yeah, you can... If you have these motorized PTZ cameras they're called pan tilt zoom, they go up and down 180 degrees and left and right 360 degrees and you can scan your whole property with them. Um, they're a little bit pricey, but they're well worth the money. Okay, um, next to that is your audio button. So if your camera has a built-in microphone, go ahead and click that and now you're listening to live audio from it. Um, and you can also then click it again to stop the audio. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to this HD one. So HD, if we click that, you're going to see BD and HD. So HD means the stream is in high definition. BD is lower definition, um, but a smoother stream. Obviously, it can run at a faster latency. So we'll go back to HD. Um, one thing to explain about this app is if you are in a place with poor reception, it'll automatically go to BD, which is a low resolution, um, so that the feed will come through faster. It's very smart. This app knows if you have bad reception and it has a variable transmission rate. So it will automatically lower the quality of the camera feed so that you get a good um, stream coming through your phone. And if, if you have a very good connection or your own Wi-Fi, it will automatically go into HD. Just something to point out there. Um, okay, so moving on here. Um, you also have this uh, menu at the bottom. I'm just going to scroll through it here. This is very similar to the one I just showed you. Um, you can record audio as well, which I'm doing right now. Um, and use this as an intercom as I was showing you before. So if you press the intercom button, it's um, actually this device I didn't hook it up on, but um, you can actually talk through your NVR, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one I am not using that feature for. So down here also you have, um, you can close all your windows here by going all close. And then again, if you want to open them back up, just go to here and go like that and go confirm. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the live view section or real time section. As you can see at the top here, you have real time at the left, playback in the middle, VR on the right. Uh, we're not going to really get into VR. What that is, I'll just explain to you quickly. If you have a 360 degree camera, a fisheye camera, uh, you can pretty much click on that and it'll allow you to virtually walk 
through the room or around the room, which is uh, really cool. Um, so a 360 degree camera kind of uh, captures the entire room all the way around. And it sort of goes in the center of the room. And then the VR kind of allows you to walk through the room in real time. It's a really cool feature. Uh, you have to have the proper camera for it. I do not have one on this demo purpose. So we're going to jump right into playback. So in the center there at the top, you see playback. Go ahead and click on it. And what it's going to do is come to this playback screen and at the top left, just like we did in live view, click here. And, you know, you can choose a camera or multiple cameras to play back. So we'll go my device, um, you know, and just select a couple here, confirm. Um, now, once you have your cameras up and running, to change the, let's start with the date. So to change the date is the top right, the calendar looking icon. We're going to click that and it'll come up with a calendar and then you can select the day you want. So if I want to go back to yesterday, I'll just click the second and click OK. And, you know, it's going to pull it up for that camera that's selected at the top left. Um, however, we're just going to go to today and I'll keep moving on with the demo. So at the bottom here, this is your hour graph. The red lines that you see, this is where motion is detected. Um, and you can just hold your thumb or your finger on this graph and slide it along to move it into the place that you want to see. So for the purpose of this video, to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to just double click on the one camera I want. And I'll show you an example from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into this region here where we have activity and we'll just see what is going on there. Um, okay, so here we go. So as you can see, there's a person there. Um, this is part of the motion. And again, just like before, at the bottom left, I'm going to go ahead and click video and you can make a recording of prehistoric data. And it's recording right now. You can see bottom left, the video is left up. And when I'm done my recording and I've got what I wanted, click it again and it saves a video to your phone. And you can see where the video pops up right there and you can click on it to access it right away if you want. Um, to the right of video is screenshot. I'm going to click it there. It takes a snapshot. Now I got a snapshot that fills up there. And let's just take a couple and you're going to see how it fills up right as you go. Um, now, you can also click on multiple and multiple, and basically you can double the speed that you're looking through if you want to. Um, we don't want to close this right now. You can go in a multi-window again, um, but uh, we're going to uh, click on single and go back to single. Okay, so now what I want to show you is the how to enlarge this graph. So I'm moving the graph right now. I'm going to go back to here, just an area with no activity. Um, now let's say I want to really narrow down a video. What I'm going to do is on the time graph where you see everything there, you're going to hold both your thumbs or two fingers and pull, hold them together against each other and then pull. And this enlarges your minute hour bar graph. So now you can really dial in to the very specific areas that you want to see. So I'm going to go make it big again. I'm going to go to an area that's really hairy with a lot of different points of motion. And I'm going to expand that like this. Now, a lot of these parts where you're seeing the motion, a lot of these small ones, they're most likely going to be cars driving by that you see in that window. And I'm going to show you how to block that out so that you only get alerts here or lines um, in the places that you want them where they're required so you're not wasting your time looking at cars driving by through the window and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that but for now I know these big areas most likely a person I go there it is okay and that pretty much covers uh, this part of the playback so I'm going to show you how to really narrow this down with the motion detection and, and how to enable this motion detection and we're going to go through that uh, really quick here so Let's move on to the next section. 
Okay, now we're going to get into some of the little bit more advanced uh, camera features. Um, I kind of touched on this earlier and we're coming back to it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. At the top right here, you're going to see, again, your device list, your two camera looking icons. Um, top right, we're going to click that. And here's our device list. We're going to click on My Devices. And then where you're going to see where you see home um, and you see the dot 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 the three dots um, you're going to click on there and this is the menu that we were at before okay so once we are in this menu there's a few things i want to show you um, there are a few features you may or may not have where you see the ai settings artificial intelligence um, this is face mode, so the AI cameras, they are part of our platinum line of cameras. They know what a face is and they can actually take photos of people's face walking through the shot and like a close-up photo and it stores them as an image separately and it just keeps on taking pictures of people's faces. And it also has, um, you see this face comparison here. Um, what it does is it has a face comparison database. So if there is a, uh, a photo of somebody's face that it captures and you want to know where that person's been on your system and you want to pull up all the files or all the video of that single person of where he's been for the last two months in your vicinity, um, then you can compare his face and pull up all the, the historic data of that person and, and the uh, unit itself will look for any footage that it has that matches that face and bring you all of those recordings. Um, as I said, this is not included in all of uh, the features for the cameras. You might not have this option. This is um, specifically to the platinum line of cameras. Um, so yeah, it knows what a face is, it knows what a human is, it, it will follow, take pictures of a face, it will compare faces, all those types of options. Okay, so moving on from there, um, we're going to concentrate on this part here, alarm area, alarm switch, and the scheduling. So if we click on alarm area, this is going to be bring up like a sort of grid. Now this matches to where before we were doing playback um, and there was those red lines and as I mentioned um, there are some very thin red lines and they were from cars driving by through the window well this is where you can get rid of that um, and as you see here the yellow selected area in this field of view is where this is going to actually create those lines and the unhighlighted area in the camera is where it is not. It's still going to record the entire image, the entire photo, but it'll only create motion alert lines in the highlighted area. So you can use your finger and literally drag. I'm just going to drag across here and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm dragging like this. Um, so you can remove the unwanted areas where you do not want um, lines created or motion alerts so another way that this can happen too is where the selected areas are where you see the yellow grid you can allow the apps to send you alerts now you may have noticed while i was making this video um, some alerts pop up at the top that says bitvision has sent you a message this is in association with the yellow grid line if something walks in here it is going to send me a message um, saying, hey, there's somebody in this area. Now, any camera that is a gold camera has humanoid detection, so it will not detect anything but a human. It knows what a human is. It knows what you know an animal is, a leaf is. You won't get false alarms. Um, now, the Platinum series as well knows what a human is, but it also knows what a face is, and that's what I was just talking about earlier with the face comparison database. So for now, we'll concentrate on right here and just select the areas that you want 
to pay attention to. You want the red lines to appear. You want alerts if you so choose to have them. Some people don't want them. You don't have to. Um, it's all user preference. So that is where you would modify here. Um, so let's go back. Um, this schedule here is where you want the schedule to start and end. So wherever you have those, um, those yellow highlighted areas, let's say you only want alerts after 8 p.m. and you want them to stop at 6 a.m., uh, but you want the alerts between that time. This is where you set them. Or let's say if you leave to work at 6 a.m. and you're home at, you know, 4 p.m. And while you're at work from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m., you want alerts coming while you're at work to see if somebody's on your property when they're not supposed to be. This is where you enter that here. And then when you get home, you don't get those alerts so they don't annoy you. This is where you do that here. And you can do it all from the phone, which is very convenient. Um... We are going to basically just quickly go through this again. Uh, resolution, you don't want to change that. It's usually at the max. That is how the recording goes. Like, um, So, for example, this is a gold camera. So, it is at 5 megapixel resolution right now, which is the, the top. I do not want to lower that any lower because then I'm just getting a, a worse of a quality image. And we don't want that. Um, the frame rate, always leave that at the highest. Um, and then you can, it, format is just basically formatting your hard drive. So you're wiping out all the data it's ever saved. Um, video type, normal recording, you can do alarm recording only. Um, I do normal recording with a layer of motion, as you've seen before, where um, we were playing back and the green was all the recordings and the red was the motion. I like to have both enabled. Factory reset is to reset your machine to default the way it came from the factory, the way that it was before it was ever touched right out of the box. Um, and you can reboot your device if you need to. Uh, push image is so that when you get alerts or messages, it sends an image with it to say, hey, here is a message and this is what I've seen. Um, other than that, that is pretty much done with this section. So we'll move on to the next section. Okay, now that we're back at our landing page or our main page here, I'm going to run through a few more options um, that this app has to offer. Um, so we're going to go ahead and at the top left where you see the person, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And this is like our account menu and it has a few more options here. So at the top is, if you click there, is our devices. We've been through this. Um, that's where it shows your devices. Um, and you can click on those dots to get to the advanced camera menus. Um, facial recognition or face recognition, if you click that. That'll show up if you have a Platinum Series camera. Um, and you can add uh, a face in there and add age, gender. It'll already kind of guess or know the approximate age, gender, um, if they're wearing glasses, hat, um, and fill most of this out for you. And you can also edit later. Um, gallery, if we click here, this brings us to uh, like the videos that we have made, um, the photos we have taken. So you can go ahead and play them, um, view them from here, or you could... Um, if you click on one, you can share it right right from this menu here. Um, or you can share a video. So if I click on a video, it's going to say, what do you want to do? You can play it with a, a viewer. Um, you can also find these in your, in your gallery on your phone. Um, it'll be under your pictures or your uh, videos, and it'll show up there. Um, at the top here, if you go over to AI... Um, again, this, this is for the Platinum series of cameras. Um, it'll show you the faces it has captured. You can go to a comparison database. Um, you can even click on a calendar. Um, that brings you to specific dates of the faces it caught on that day. And you can compare them from there. 
Um, below that is event messages. So this is where, um, you know, you have your detection alarm show up. So if somebody comes in that yellow grid, it's going to have the time and um, the alarm. If you click on that, it'll show you the image of what it picked up. And if you have the messaging enabled, you'll also um, get a message on the app where the app says, hey, this is what I've seen. There's an alert. Um, Cloud storage device, this is <clears throat> if you um, choose to use the service for cloud storage, it will actually store it online. You don't have to do this. It is already saved on your unit anyways. And the demo is just a demo for people to view for the first time on the app. You won't really need this. Um, at the bottom here, you have your settings. Um, you can have a uh, guest password. There's a lot of other, uh, you, you know, change of language. If you want to enable your daylight, daylight saving time, um, you can go to about here. That's just a user agreement and private policy um, and download. So any content that uh, you want to download, you can download to here. Here's where you see event messages. I'm going to turn that off. And then you won't receive messages on your events. Um, or you can toggle it on here and that's going to be uh, toggle on so that you will receive messages from the apps uh, for alerts and things like that. Um, so that pretty much wraps up the entire app tutorial. Uh, I hope that this gave you a good idea and taught you how to use this app effectively. And um, I hope that this video shows you that the products that we choose, they are top of the line products. We always aim to um, look for the best and the state of the art equipment, equipment like the, the best of the current times. Um, a lot of the features that our equipment has most people don't even use them but if you spend the time and if you want them these features are already built in for you depending on how much you need your system to provide you um, most people are just good with hey i want to view what's going on and i want to play back and that's fine um, for what this app has to offer it has some of the best features on the market that um, most apps just don't have. It is very cutting edge. Um, the NVR itself can even do more, which is in another video. You will find that on our website under the NVR 5.0 video. And that will show you uh, much more advanced uh, features where you can create intrusion areas you can create line crossing if someone goes one way but not the other way or you can create fence lines and grids and all sorts of different things like that uh, people gathering you can choose how many people um, can be in an area before it sends you an alert or there's a loitering option so if a person's there for an x amount of time it's going to alert you. Um, it, it, it can even integrate into an alarm system to have a monitor, monitoring station call you. Um, there's many more advanced and rich features that the recording unit can do itself. The app here is not limited, but it does not have nearly as many um, rules and uh, different settings that you can put on your system. The app is limited to mostly the, the basic features. So if you want to dive right in and get really into the advanced surveillance features, go ahead and go to www.nexttechnologies.ca. Go to the software section. And in there, you will not only find a link to this video, but you will find a link to the NVR 5.0 video that will train you how to use the NVR and that video is much longer goes much into depth shows you how to integrate into alarm system um, shows you every feature that our systems really have to offer um, but I hope for now that uh, you like this video and if you do go ahead and hit the like button um, 
feel free to leave comments on our YouTube channel. Um, I hope you enjoy th using this app and I hope that um, it gives you everything that you need. You can always reach out to us if you have questions. Um, just go to nexttechnologies.ca, go to the contact or support section, send us an email and we would be glad to answer any of the other questions you may have. Thank you for watching.